Thanks for visiting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hi, I'm Patrick Ryan, and this is an unboxing of the Gas One dual fuel uh, stove. And so let's get it open. Come on, baby. Am I cutting? Looks like I'm cutting into the box. <laughs> This is a carrying case at what $14.95 extra. This does not come with what we have here. This is just something extra we bought. The actual yeah, this is the, the stove itself and its case. Let's get this open, yeah. It's already. This is it, and oh crap. I believe you have it upside down, son. Well, it says the same thing on both sides, so that right. wasn't helpful. Um, need help? QR code. So, if you guys need help with this review, <laughs> call them, because. I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> Instruction manual on how to use the thing. Well, this is going horribly wrong. Everything's just falling apart on me. <laughs> okay, here's the uh, adapter so that you can hook it up with uh, one of our five pound pro, uh, propane, one pound propane cylinders. And that sound you just heard is a different one injuring itself with our butane cylinders. This does both. This ain't no one trick pony, but all it does is heat your food and uh, boil things because it's a stove. Not much else it can do. The stove part, how fun. I'm gonna get all this plastic garbage around me away so nothing's a mess, so you can see what the heck is going on. Let's try it with butane first. There we go. Like I said, Real men don't need instructions. Is it in the notch? In the canister? Yeah, uh, I'm trying to get, trying to get there. There we go. Show the notch to the audience, please. The notch, right there, on your canister. Looks like that. There is a- Tell where it goes. Part right here. You can see very similar shape. And it's right there. You have it locked in. I pushed, I did it. I did the. There's Turn a, it around and show the people how that goes. The little lever right here. You push down. Lift it up and push it down. Hang on. It's not on camera. <laughs> ding ding. There we go. It's right there. It's locked in. I can't take this out now, which is great because then, you know, gas isn't flying everywhere. Fire isn't doing bad things. <laughs> so, shall we turn it on? And how would you know that that happened? What do you hear? I don't hear anything. 
Well, you, you, you will would. when you <laughs> when you turn it on. How you? Well, what will what will it be? It will be a hissing sound if we're doing this wrong, <laughs> which I. No, it'd be a screaming, uh, like a little girl running down the street, like uh, Richard Pryor after freebasing crack. But no, there you go. Okay. That's what it looks like if it actually works. Yeah. Uh, shall we do a demonstration of it if it isn't? Like, <laughs> no, we could not. <laughs> oh man, I wanted to show them what it looks like when we die. <laughs> no, no. All right, but yeah, that's what it looks like, and I just put the flame out. But that's what that should look like—a fire. <laughs> okay. But a controlled one. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this out and. We're gonna see what it looks like with propane. You know, back where I'm from, they call me Hank Hill. Not because I sell propane or anything, but because I'm white and, you know, <laughs> Texan. So with this one. It goes through the hole in the back there. Oh, you are so right. You are so, so right. If only I had the foresight. <laughs> so there's this brass connector right here. Hang on just a second so I can get you on camera there. There's this brass connector right here that you screw on. Uh, what they say is that you should only do it by hand. And I trust them. So I am only going to do this by hand. <laughs> I don't know the consequences of not doing it by hand. Well, there's something else they told you to do. They, oh, you are, yeah. But uh, you, can, you have to put the propane cylinder on it before you can detect any leaks. Yeah. Can't be leaking nothing if there's no... <laughs> right. Yeah, let's get on there. Anyway, we're going to check this with uh, soapy water in a second. Yep. So uh, we'll be right back. Uh, we're gonna test the connection out with some soapy water and see if there's any leaking. We already did it with this, if you couldn't tell. But. Let's get some of that soap on in there. I don't see any bubbles. Okay. Well, other than soap bubbles, but. <laughs> and our nice clean towel shirt. Sure. I, I don't want this being soaking on it. Just a little bit. So, I think that is good enough for what I'm doing. And same thing with this with the propane as the butane, you have to lock it. Let's lock it. Here it gas now. Yeah. Wow, that one's way hotter. <laughs> That's that is also what a fire looks like. It's also adjustable. Yeah. It's kind of windy, so. That's kind of medium or low. It's like nothing, pretty much. Now it's off. There we go. That is what the Gas One dual fuel stove looks like. That is great. It'll probably cook things. Most likely, because that, that was hot. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And hit the bell icon to get notified for all of our new videos. Later.